quality of life. <laughs> he's got more than he needs, and he needs more than he's got already. Doesn't pay to look up to anybody. Every time I do, something decidedly nasty rains down. The Black Death in 1361. Plague in 1558. Even my poor wife keeps her head down these days. Our women risk life and limb when the king's troops drop in for a... night on the town. Not a wonder us commoners have been filling up St Nicholas's graveyard for the last 300 years. I look up to him simply because his highness and his rival Molyneux's precious fortified tower stands taller than the rest of Liverpool. And I'm obliged to keep a wary eye on him to make sure his riotous drinking, dancing and copious urinating don't wreck my town hall. You see, while Fancy Pants here is busy playing the Lord, and while Dungface here is dying by the cartload, I've taken it upon myself to make the town's fortunes. Well, my own, anyway. How else do you think the mighty Moors and the wealthy Norrises get to live like kings in their grand houses in Bank Hall and speak? While most of my fellow Burgesses are happy to be carpenters and cobblers or brewers or butchers, I've been making a fortune in the export business. Iron ore, Lancashire wool, Cheshire salt. Once I can afford a peerage, people are going to look up to me. I look down on them, because I deign to. But they look up to me, <laughs> because they have to. Hence the tower. So... Imagine my horror when foul weather forced me to spend a whole fortnight there. Mm. Not even the mouth-watering delights of twelve calves, twenty sheep, and fifteen hogsheads of ale could rid me of the horror of catching a dose of the plague from the commoners of Liverpool. No. Why else does a gentleman have country estates like Latham, eh? I think that entitles any Stanley to look down on who he pleases, thank you. <laughs>